Hey, this is Michael Franti. The NBA Finals are tonight, and my team, the Dubs, are gonna take it. I'm crazy, I'm crazy for you. I went to University of San Francisco and played basketball there. It was a super fun time. I remember, you know, just growing up as a kid and playing basketball. Every spare moment that I had and sleeping with a ball in my bed and having pictures of all these NBA players that were on my ceiling and on every wall. When I got to University of San Francisco, my dorm room was right above the campus radio station. And so the campus radio station was always bumping music and I'd hear the bass lines coming up through the floor. One summer, they needed really tall people to work as extras on a Star Wars Ewok movie and wear like basically gorilla suits and chase little bears through the woods and shoot them. And so I got this job just because I was so tall and they, need, they hired people from our basketball team. And so with that money from that summer, I bought myself a bass and I started practicing bass. I caught the music bug and, and so uh, I started playing music and I never went back to basketball. <laughs> playing sports, you, you, you have to find what it is that is, you're not good at. And you have to take a close look at that and then go, all right, how am I gonna get better at dribbling with my left hand? How am I gonna get better you know, shooting a layup with my right hand? How am I gonna become a better free throw shooter? And it's also done within a team context. And so as a musician, it's the same thing. You have to be a team player and you have to be driven to work hard at the things that you're not great at. I remember the Warriors when they were terrible. I used to live about, well, a one BART st train station away. We'd ride our bikes to the games and then we would buy like $15 tickets. I can't even imagine what 15 bucks to get you like half a hot dog there now or something. <laughs> you know, but we'd buy a $15 ticket. It would be way up in like section triple Z. And the Warriors were so bad that by halftime, you could just walk down and sit like in the third, third row center court because the game would be already over. So now I'm just super excited to see them winning and see them with the, with the way that they win, you know, revolutionizing the way the game is played, but also being um, super conscious and super humble, you know, athletes. The, the Warriors from top to bottom, every player, including the coaches, are just those really beautiful, humble people. Oh, if I were speaking to the Warriors right now, right before they go on the court, I would say, do it like you've always done it, with a lot of joy, have fun, appreciate the moment, every single second you're out there. I know you're gonna win, and the Bay Area, the nation, and so many people around the whole world are excited to see you do it. So just go out there, enjoy it, and uh, work hard, and, and you're gonna make it happen.